Hi, I'm Sarah from Convenience Store, speaking to Mandy Duncan, who owns three stores in South Ayrshire. And Mandy has just hosted a virtual whiskey tasting. How are you? <laughs> really good, really good. Was the whiskey tasting your first tasting event held virtually? First virtual one. And where did the idea come from in the first place to run it? We've heard that other people had done it before. And was it the whiskey company who came to you with the idea? We inquired about it with Gunnahabin and they, they did all the work. So that was brilliant. All we did was advertise it and participate a wee bit in it as well. So that was, was great. We started seeing Father's Day's coming, why not do this? And quite a few people did it with their dad either separately on their own Zoom or together. It was £10 for the for a, a box with four miniature tasters and the tasting itself was included. And the tasting itself. So, and if they bring their empty box back, they get £10 off a bottle of whiskey, so it's really free. How do you make money from it then? Because obviously you're selling something and then giving a big discount and it seems like people are getting a really good deal. I didn't buy the, the kits in the first place. The distillery gave you them for free. But they're obviously getting more sales through me. So it works for everybody. I wasn't sure, oh, how is it going to work online? But it was it was great. People participated, brought up all the pictures. And it was on Teams. People were wondering about it. So when they went away to get their water or their whatever, um, they would flick off the screen and then back. And I didn't know anybody apart from, I think, three people on it. Everybody was just chatting to each other and having a laugh. It was a really enjoyable night. And that's really interesting. So you, so it was only held with, through your stores, the tasting, and yet you only knew three of the people. So all of those people are extra customers. Extra customers, it? yeah. Yeah. Which is fantastic. I, I participated as well. I did a tiny, tiny wee bit of each one. And the girl that did it, she's leaving the distillery. She was brilliant. She did a great job um, of sold... I think it was 16 at the last count of people bringing their uh, box back for a, a bottle of malt. And it, it, that's out of 30. And they've got no rush to bring them back either. I've had, I've had somebody drive 50 miles to come and get that here. Bizarre. And hopefully it could, you know, result in long-term sales as well, couldn't it? Because if people really like a drink, they'll come well, back. People can see, oh, you do that range. Um, or can you get that in? we try and give it to them. And so have you now taken the same route with the, with other spirits? Are you going to the companies and saying, well, we've tried this and it was... Yes, great. yes. We've got another distillery lined up, um, hopefully. That, that's in almost almost there. And a gin as well. Gin. And we're hoping to get another gin one as well. So it's, it's great. Re really good fun. Really, really good fun. And something different.